Welcome. Welcome. Hello, welcome. Good morning. Well, hello. Hi, welcome. Hi, good morning. Welcome once again. Since lockdown and the closure of our church buildings, our parishes have continued serving their communities in new and dynamic ways and welcoming people, old and new, every Sunday. Our clergy and laity have overcome obvious challenges in order to offer a wide range of services of worship, inviting people to participate from their homes. Hello everybody, it's great to be with you here at St Nicholas. As you know, we are in the time of pandemic and we cannot leave our houses and we cannot go to church or to any other place. So I thought if you can't come to church, I will go and I will take you with me. The diocese has also provided lots of resources, services, prayers, stories of faith and testimonies across one of the most exciting times of the Christian year, Holy Week to Pentecost. On top of this, each day throughout the pandemic, the bishop and clergy from across the diocese have been sharing their thoughts, reflecting on daily readings and giving inspiration for each new day. New things have been born out of this time. God has been at work. Choirs have come together digitally to sing. Children's work has continued with a twist and youth work went online. Good morning! Do you know, my first makeup was in 1994. Uh, we want to say hello and welcome to this seminar. Uh, uh... Here's Federer, and it's back to Djokovic, and can they get it in the bin? We have a god that isn't static. Like, yeah. he, may be, he may be the same yesterday, today, forever, but that doesn't mean that he's standing still. Um, and, you know, he, he's not just fixed in one place. He, he moves to meet us where we are. Church governance has continued throughout, ensuring that our parishes have had the support they most need, so that whether locked down or finally reopened in the future, the household of faith is even better equipped to serve people right across the diocese and throughout Sussex. So my brothers and sisters, joining me from your homes across the diocese, Wherever you are, there the Spirit is present. Father, I pray for each person with us today. Have pity on those hurt or grieving because of the coronavirus. And may you welcome with merciful love those who have recently died and shelter their loved ones too from the shadow of his wings. In this country, we ask for your blessing upon the Prime Minister and all members of Parliament at this challenging time. Lord, we are so grateful to all the doctors and nurses and all the ancillary staff. Give us joy and peace in our faith. Help us to be captivated afresh during this season by him. Help us, Lord, be the hands, the feet, the eyes and the mouth of Jesus to our neighbours, to our brothers and sisters. May we fill our imagination with that surety of your grace and your love to us at all times. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And so may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. 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 Amen.